Hello and welcome to this session of CCNP Encore series. In this session, I will discuss two FHRP protocols, HSRP and VRRP. HSRP, also known as Hot Standby Router Protocol, is a member of FHRP family. It is a Cisco proprietary protocol, which means it will work only on Cisco devices. HSRP allows for transparent failover of your first hop device, which is typically your network's default gateway. It provides network redundancy for IP networks and ensures that user traffic is immediately and transparently recovered from first hop failures. So let's see how HSRP works. To set up HSRP, you need at least two devices. These two devices can be routers or layer 3 switches. One device is the active router, which is responsible for forwarding the packets. And the other device is the standby router, which is ready to take over if the active router fails. HSRP uses a virtual IP address and a MAC address. So, HSRP, as I said, uses virtual IP address that your network devices see as their gateway. So, in this setup, the PC has been configured with gateway as 1.1 and the same IP has been configured as a virtual IP. It also assigns a virtual MAC address to the group. The active router uses this MAC address to send and receive packet. If you see here, uh, let me show you the virtual MAC address. This is the virtual MAC address. Actually, virtual IP and MAC both for this setup. So, HSRP uses this type of MAC address. So, there are two versions of HSRP, HSRP version 1 and 2. HSRP version 1 uses uh, 4 times 0, 0 C 0 7, A C and the last two letters X Y is the variable. This XY is the hex value representing the HSRP group number. So this will differentiate from different HSRP groups. Also, there is HSRP version 2, which uses this MAC address. I mean, uh, between the range of this MAC address. Now, let's look at the failover process. If uh, the active router stops working, the standby router takes over immediately using the same virtual IP address and MAC address. The switchover is seamless, so your network devices won't notice the change. Like if you see, the traffic is passing through R1, and if R1 fails, the traffic will immediately switch over to R2. Now, uh, it should decide which router will be, I mean, when you configure HSRP, you want to decide which router will be the active router so this can be possible by using priority so each router in the hsrp group has a priority number the router with the highest priority becomes the active router but by default the route priority is set to 100 and if two routers have the same priority the one with the highest ip address becomes the active router suppose that suppose you have uh, one router with the higher priority that is our R1. Well, then we have uh, each router in the HSRP setup has a priority number. Okay, the router with the highest priority becomes the active router. And by default, the priority is set to 100. If two routers have the same priority, the one with the highest IP address becomes the active router. Suppose uh, you have one router with the highest priority and uh, it is the active router. So when the active router fails, the standby router takes over. But when the active router comes back online, the standby router is still active. Because uh, in HSRP, preemption is not enabled by default. So you can change this behavior by enabling the preemption. So another important thing which you need to understand uh, regarding how HSRP works is uh, how HSRP communicates. 
एच एस आर पी द राउटर्स इन द एच एस आर पी ग्रुप सेंड हेलो मैसेजेस टू ईच अदर टू मॉनिटर ईच अदर्स स्टेटस दीज हेलो मैसेजेस आर सेंड एवरी थ्री सेकेंड्स एंड दीज मैसेजेस हेल्प डिटेक्ट इफ अ राउटर इज फेल इफ द स्टैंड बाय राउटर डजेंट रिसीव अ हेलो मैसेज फ्रॉम द एक्टिव राउटर इट अज्यूम्स द एक्टिव राउटर हैज फेल्ड एंड टेक ओवर द एक्टिव रोल विच इज कॉल्ड द होल टाइम द होल टाइम इज टेन सेकेंड इफ इट डजेंट रिसीव एनी हेलो फॉर टेन सेकेंड्स इट विल कंसिडर द सॉरी द एक्टिव राउटर इज डेड एंड टेक ओवर द एक्टिव रोल सो एच एस आर पी कम्स इन टू फ्लेवर एच एस आर पी वर्जन वन which works with older network and uses multicast address 224.0.0.2 hsrp version 2 offers uh, enhancement like better ipv6 support and uh, uses multicast addresses 224.0.0.102 the next protocol which we'll discuss now is vrrp vrrp is an industry standard protocol used to provide redundancy and high availability in ip network by industry standard i mean it will work on all the vendors it is similar to hsrp but has some key differences like the router which that ha- currently handles all the traffic for virtual router is called master router and then <coughs> sorry the router that handles i mean takes over if the master router fails is called backup router and another important thing you need to understand is vrrp in ena- uh, enables preemption by default you don't need to uh, go and configure it which means like if a higher priority router becomes available it automatically takes over the role of the master whereas hsrp as i said requires manual configuration to enable preemption and uh, vrrp uses mac address format as 40s5e0001 xx where xx is the vrrp grouped id group id in hexadecimal format whereas in hsrp it's different vrrp uses 224.0.0.18 for communication between routers and vrrp there are two versions vrrp version 2 which supports ipv4 only and vr version 3 which supports ipv6 and ipv4 both and also includes security and efficiency improvement That's it for this session. I hope this was informative for you. In my next session, I will discuss another FHRP that is GLBP. Thank you for watching. Please do like, comment, share and subscribe. And also please do not forget to check out my courses on Udemy. I'll be sharing the link in the description below. Thank you for watching.